If you purchase Network Roller Shutters, via an online order, you will receive Roller Shutters header box, and gutters as shown in the photo. One TFT LCD Master Controller, 20 meter of wire assembly, some wire joints and a power pack will also be delivered. You will also receive, the number you ordered of roller shutter controllers, bush fire sensors, 10 meter wire assemblies, and some wire joints. If you ordered a cyclone sensor, or an emergency switch, you will receive them also. If you want to install your roller shutter yourself, we recommend you, get a helper. Building experience helps. The installation is straightforward. Network Roller Shutters installation does not need any electrician license as the voltage used is quite safe, maximum 24 volt. Here are the tools you will need. A hammer drill, a battery driven cordless drill, a spirit level, some drill bits and few small tools listed later. A workbench is very convenient. If your house has solid brick walls, you need a big power hammer drill that is able to make a hole through them. As in the photo, we need a 5mm drill bit, a 10mm drill bit and a 6mm masonry drill bit, and a 12mm masonry drill bit. Here is a 5mm and a 10mm drill bit. Here is a 6mm masonry drill bit and plugs. We recommend AG, 30mm screws for the plugs, to fix the garters onto the wall. Here is the shutter installation layout showing the header box, a garter, the fire sensor, the network wires and the controller. The network wires are shown as yellow, the motor wires are red, and the fire sensor wires are blue. When you have prepared the tools, you can start installing your shutters. Step 1. Using a level, draw a vertical line, for the screw holes, for installing a gutter. The gutters normally will be placed, at the edge of your window. Label X on the appropriate wall side, for your screw holes. The middle of a brick is the best place. Step 2. Draw the X mark on the gutter, over the X on the brick. Step 3. Make 3 or 4 holes along the gutter depending on its length. You use the 5mm bit for the inside hole and the 10mm drill bit for outside one. Step 4. Check that the holes in the guide are in the same place as the X on the wall. Step 5. Drill the holes in the wall using the 6mm masonry drill bit. Put the plugs in these holes. Step 6. We need a 12mm hole right through the wall. It will be under a garter, on the outside. This must be the garter below the motor, in the header box. The controller will cover the hole on the inside. We suggest you start with a 6mm masonry bit, drilling in line with your plug holes, for the correct garter. This hole goes right through the wall. First open the outside hole using a 12mm masonry bit. Then open the inside hole from the inside also to 12mm. This hole inside the room is for the motor power wire, network wire, and sensor wire to come through. Step 7. Use a 7.5mm drill bit to drill a hole, for the power line to come out from the motor. See the next picture, you can pull out the motor power line, through the hole you drilled, as shown in the photo. Step 8. From inside of the house, push the network wire, through your 12mm hole, into the wall cavity, and then extract this wire to the roof. Step 9. The network wires from different locations are connected together. We recommend connecting a maximum of 3 wires. The same color wires must be joined together, as shown in the photo. Cover caps, which were delivered with your network wires are placed over the joint, and squeezed tight to make the joint solid. Step 10. Connect all the network wires, from each shutter. In our network roller shutters, any kind of connections are alright. However we recommend the serial connection, the so-called daisy chain. Step 11. Now you can install your gutters and header box. Put the header box on the top of the window and slide the two gutters into it. The holes in the gutters must line up with the holes in the wall. The motor wire goes into the guide and through the 12 mm hole into the house. The sensor is placed in the gutter and its wire also goes through the 12 mm hole into the house. We suggest, you hold the header box in position by poles, as in the photo. Step 12. You fix the gutters onto the wall, using 8G 30mm screws into the plugs. Step 13. Take out your shutter controllers from the box. To separate the wall plate from the shutter controller, squeeze the wall plate as shown in the photo. The wall plate will come off from the shutter controller. 
Now you can fix the wall plates onto the wall, covering the 12 mm hole. Three sets of wires come out through this hole, and now through the wall plate, the motor power wires, the network wires and the sensor wires for the shutter. Step 14, choose a number from 1 to N, out to 10, for each of your end roller shutters with controllers. Step 15, number each controller with your chosen unique number by rotating the knob on the back. Note that A means number 10. Connect the three wires into the network roller shutters controller. After connecting, check the up and down buttons to see that they move the shutters in the correct direction. If the direction is wrong, swap the motor wires into the controller. Push the shutter controller onto the wall plate, top first and then the bottom. Step 16, take out the TFT LCD master controller attached to its wall plate from the box. Push the upper and lower tabs as shown in the photo. The wall plate will come off easily. Choose the place on the inside wall for the master controller. Drill a 12mm hole at this place, feed four network wires down inside the wall cavity and through this hole. These wires must also be connected to the other network wires in the roof as shown before. These wires from the 12mm hole are now connected to the master controller. Fix the wall plate onto the wall as shown, push the master controller onto it. The installation is now finished. Check the screen by pushing the power button down for 2 seconds, the screen should then look like this. Here are some photos from the demonstration house. All 10 roller shutters are installed as shown in the photos.